Sing uit gesang 31, al vijf verse. Punk has never had an easy time, but never has this been truer than in South Africa during apartheid. Between 1948 and 1994, apartheid policy devastated the country, tearing it in two. Black South Africans were not allowed to share the same amenities as whites and faced tremendous discrimination in their day-to-day -day life. The police and military were at the forefront of reinforcing the apartheid policy, crushing any dissent of the regime with violence and blockades. In the late 1970s, bands started to form that would challenge the traditional values of the apartheid government. The first of these was the Durban group Wild Youth. With the release of their debut single, What About Me, it was clear that punk had finally arrived in South Africa. But over the next few years, the government would lead a war on punk music, legislating and intimidating performers within the genre. This meant that by the turn of the 21st century, many of the performers had been almost entirely forgotten by the following generations. In 2009, Punk in Africa, a documentary by Keith Jones and Dion Mass, introduced a younger audience to these performers, bringing them once again into the spotlight. This led many bands to reissue albums that were originally opposed by the apartheid regime, creating an international demand for their music. Whilst the government may have tried time and time again to quell Punk in Africa, it remains evident today that they have failed. Talk about David Bowie. I just want to talk about about me. What about me? What about me? What about me? Talk about Jimi Hendrix. I don't want to talk about Eric Clapton. I don't want to talk about Jimmy Page. I just want to talk about about me. What about me? What about me? What about